Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you how I sort my Lego, but this is all going to change very soon. So, on my right, I have these big containers, and I sort by colour. So, blue, red, blacks in the big container, brown, trans red, and trans blue. So that's how I sort by colour. I have these two boxes here. Which are sorted by colour. But these are sorted by colours that I don't have a lot of. Now, um, these boxes are very cheap. The Anko boxes from Coles extremely cheap uh, this box you buy these boxes these these 10 liter boxes and you get a bunch of these little boxes inside and a bunch of these inside for I think about ten dollars um, from Coles uh, these one liter boxes are two for two dollars so basically a dollar each for these these hard Tupperware sort of plastic tubs but again, these here, yeah, these come in the big 10 litre tubs. Um, then I have two other types of boxes. I have these ones here, which are your 12 organiser compartments. Uh, these cost $5 at Coles. And then I have the larger 8 compartment, which costs $10. So... This is the way I used to sort it, by colour. And all the little pieces. So this here, this is all my clips. So if it's got a, a C clip on it, it goes into this box. So that's all my clips there. Then I have all my bars. So anything with a bar on it, that goes into a clip, goes into that box. In this organiser, I have windows and frames tires wheel arches and axles and tires in there this box is my unsorted minifigures um, this is a bucket I didn't know I had and I've got a set missing this so there's one less piece um, so yeah any any minifigures that haven't been sorted or sticker sheets or anything fake Lego so yeah anything um, anything minifigure wise weapons tools accessories all that sort of stuff goes in there um, this is all my stud on stud. And then these, these 12 uh, organizers are pretty cool. So, as you can see, there are lots of um, different variations of parts. So yeah, I've got all these sorted out. I'm I'm always changing these around, um, trying to when they fill up and uh, get full. So prop blades, car lids, tails, um, garbage bins, mailboxes, media. So I, I have got no real system for these as yet. A very old Lego flag. Um, yeah, so this is how I've started to sort it out. Now, what my plan is, I'm going to turn all my small pieces into these. I'm going to see how I go. I'll update you once everything's sorted and how my collection is 
at a later date. But for now, this is how I sort my Lego. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, if you have any tips and advice on how to sort Lego, please comment below. But yeah, I feel these tubs are great. They're hard, they're sturdy. They've got a lid. They've got a lid that closes flat, so there's no, no mixture. They're clear plastic, so you can look through at any angle to see what piece you want or what piece you're missing because all the smaller pieces are down the bottom. But as again, with my new sorting style, that's hopefully going to change where it's only I'm going to be digging for color. One last thing. These are my favorite types of tubs to use. They're, they're $1 each, but they've got so much more clipping power and you can open and shut them as many times as you want. They may wear out when the lids wear out. I've got stacks more lids. I've got stacks more containers and they're cheap to replace. Another option to go are these things here, which um, this is $1 each. This is like five for a dollar. This was a 25 pack and I think it cost me four or five dollars from Woolworths. Um, but I doubt the amount of times you could open and shut this. Plus these are a little bit harder, um, harder edges and these are also 650 mil, where these are your one liter. So this can hold basically nearly what you can get in two of these. So yeah, but again, it depends on your budget, depends on how you want to sort and, and that sort of thing. Now, I buy one of these containers every week, so it's, it's not a big expense over, over time. Uh, as I said, if you get these 10 liter containers, they come with like three of these, a couple round ones, a couple of these. So you get, you're not just getting this for, for $8 or $10 or whatever it is. You're getting like 10 different containers as well as this big old 10 liter container. And the best thing about these containers is they stack and they're very sturdy. So you can stack them all up and you can see very clearly what color is what. So yeah, and that's that's another thing I like about them. So again, if I'm doing anything wrong, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments. If you like this solution, also let us know how you think. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye for now.